Hey there, young adventurers. Today, we're going on a fun journey to explore the world of angles. Can you imagine building a bridge, designing a house, or even creating a work of art? Angles are essential in all these activities and more. An angle is formed when two lines or rays meet at a point. It's like when you open a door or turn a corner. Can you think of some examples in your daily life where you see angles? Maybe the angle of your chair, the slope of a slide, or the tilt of a painting on the wall. There are different types of angles, and we're going to learn about them together. Let's start our angle adventure. An acute angle is smaller than a right angle. It's like the angle you make when you slightly tilt your head to the side, like when you're trying to listen to a secret. Imagine holding a pencil at a slight angle to write your name. The angle between the pencil and the paper is an acute angle. Example, look at the hands of a clock. When it's two o'clock, the angle between the hour and minute hands is acute. A right angle is like a corner of a square or a rectangle. It's exactly 90 degrees. Think of a book standing upright on a table. The corner where the cover meets the page is a right angle. You can also find right angles in the corners of your room, the frames of pictures, or even the edges of a puzzle piece. Imagine building a Lego tower. Each corner of the tower is a right angle. Obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is larger than a right angle, but smaller than a straight line. It's like the angle you make when you stretch your arms wide to hug someone or spread your arms out to fly like a bird. Picture a roof with a gentle slope. The angle of the roof is an obtuse angle. Look at a basketball hoop. The angle between the hoop and the backboard is obtuse. Straight angle. A straight angle is like a straight line. It's 180 degrees. Imagine holding a ruler flat on a table. The angle of the ruler is a straight angle. You can also find straight angles in a straight road, a flat piece of paper, or even the horizon on a sunny day. Picture a bridge stretching across a river. The angle of the bridge is a straight angle. Conclusion. Wow, we've learned so much about angles today. Remember, angles are all around us, and now you can spot them in your daily life. Whether it's building a fort, designing a dream house, or creating a masterpiece, angles are essential. Activity. Can you find examples of each type of angle in your classroom or at home? Draw a picture or take a photo to share with your friends. Get creative and have fun exploring the world of angles.